Hello, this is a short demonstration video on how to find the mean, standard deviation, and variance of a sample of data using the Casio FX 300MS or 350MS. The first thing you need to do is get yourself into SD mode. Even if you're already in SD mode, you want to get into it again to clear out any old data. So you do this simply by doing mode two. So we hit the mode button and number two and you're in SD mode. You'll see a little SD at the top of the screen. Next you wanna do is put in your data one at a time using the M plus key or the statistical memory key, meaning add to the statistical memory. So you do it one at a time with the M plus key. So the first data value is five M plus. Notice it shows you you have one value in so far. Next is nine M plus, it has two data values now. 10 M plus 11 M plus 7 M plus 5 M plus 8 M plus 2 M plus. Notice we have a total of eight values in our statistical memory. So now all we have to do is go to a statistical menu in the calculator and find the mean standard deviation and variance. So the menu you get to from shift to and then you choose which one you want to find. So if you want to find the mean, you're going to choose number one and then hit equals. So we're going to go to shift two. I want the mean X bar, it's choice number one. So I hit one. I notice that the cursor is still blinking, meaning I have to hit equals to get the answer. So I hit equals and it gives me an answer of 7.125. Next, I want to find the standard deviation. I go back to that menu, shift two, then I'm gonna choose choice three and then hit equals. So going back to shift two brings me to the menu. The choice I want is the sample standard deviation, S, which is number three. So I hit three. Because the cursor's blinking, I hit equals. My answer is 2.997 and so on. And then lastly, I want to find the variance. Now, so the calculator does not give us a key for variance because it figures you can find it by squaring the standard deviation. So simply hit the X squared key and equals. So I hit the X squared key. It's blinking, so I hit equals, and I get that my variance is 8.98214 and so on. And that's it. All you now have to do is round them appropriately.